Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the complex analysis. Today I will explain you what is the meaning of the derivative of analytic functions. Myself Dr. Harish Kark, you can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of the complex analysis. In this playlist you can see the lecture related to the Cauchy-Riemann equation, analytic functions, harmonic functions, complex integration, Cauchy integral formula, Maurer theorem and many more lecture available in this playlist. You can subscribe my YouTube channel so that when I upload my next video, you can follow my videos. Now, what is the motivation behind this? As you all know, whenever you are in the real analysis, if your function is my differentiable, then what can you say about its derivative? Are they differentiable always? Are they differentiable always? Or they are not differentiable? So the answer is, the functions, if the function is differentiable in the real analysis, then the derivatives may or may not be differentiable. For example, if I say, you can simply consider the linear function, quadratic, sine and cosines, then all of us knows that these functions are my differentiable. Moreover, if you find the derivative of such functions, that is my a, 2ax plus b, derivative of the sine is my cos x, derivative of the cos will be minus of 2 sine and so on. And again you can see they are my differentiable. Fine. So whenever the function you can consider in the real analysis, the function may or may not be differentiable. But if I consider the examples like this case, x square sine of 1 by x, root of x plus 1, definitely in this case, my domain will be greater than of minus 1 then clearly say this function is my differentiable. But if you calculate the f dash, it will be fine. And if you calculate the x dash, it will be 2x sine 1 over x minus cos 1 over x square. And clearly say this function is not differentiable. Fine. So that means the f dash is not differentiable. If f dash is not differentiable, f double dash, f triple dash are not differentiable. Fine. This is all about the real analysis. Now, can we say, can we say this result is also true in the complex analysis? Fine. But you will be very surprising that if the function is my analytic, then all of its derivative of whatever the order, they are also the analytic. While in the real analysis, this result may or may not be. While in the case of the complex analysis, if the function is my analytic, then its derivatives are all analytics. Fine. But how you can prove that? That's why I just use this feature. You will be very surprising to see that and see how you can prove that. And that's why the today's lecture is derivative of the analytic functions. What is the given statement is? If the function is my analytic, then its derivatives are also analytic. And the value is give, defined as f dash of a is 1 over 2 pi iota integration of this part. The proof is a very, very simple. I will give the two different proof. The first proof is now because fz is my analytic. It is given to you in the reason r. Fine. And a is the any point inside the reason r. So what does it mean? I can apply the Cauchy integral formula. Fine. The same Cauchy integral formula that we have discussed in our last lecture. That is a Cauchy integral formula. So what is the Cauchy integral formula is f of a at the point is my here. Now if you differentiate this with respect to a because my target is f dash of a. So that will be f dash of a. How you can take the derivative with respect to a? I can take the partial derivative of the fz divided by z minus a. Fine. So can you find the partial derivative of this function? It is 2 pi iota. fz is my constant which is outset. So can you find the partial derivative of z minus a with respect to a? So that will be minus 1 over z minus a whole square into derivative of z minus a. So that will be 1 over z minus a whole square. 
fine and you can see and that is the required target for you fine and once you know the f dash you can also find the f double dash you can also find the second derivative you can also find the third derivatives and so fine but whenever you are in the subjective examinations of the complex analysis always give if some if in the examinations they will ask you proof that try to prove by using the second method not by using this method now what is given to you f is my analytic c is any closed curve in the r fine so i can take an any point a around this curve i can take an as the closed curve c is it fine now once is a closed curve c i can apply the cauchy integral formula is it okay now your target is to find the value of the f dash how you can find the value of the f dash by using the definition it will be limit h approaches 0 f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h this is the formula for the f dash now you have the f of a but you need a f of a plus h so i can consider a small h which is say a plus h or firstly i can take an any point z here and the distance between this point i call as the d let d is the smallest distance from a to z this is my smallest distance and i can choose on the h is a smaller number which are lies between 0 and d fine why because if i taken h is equal to d then it will be my complete on the on the boundary fine now i can substitute what is the value of the f of a plus h 1 over 2 pi iota integrations f of z, z will be my a divided by a plus h minus f of a 2 pi iota f of z over z minus a of dz so i can take on 1 over 2 pi iota common integration i can take on common f of z is my common so the inside portion is 1 over z minus a minus h and z minus a so if i take the lcm it is z minus a minus plus divided by z minus a minus h and z minus a so this value will be cancel this value so h will be cancel out with this h so the expression is z minus a minus h and z minus a fine now our target is to find this so for this case i have to take on the limit or or i can take on as f dash a minus 1 over 2 pi iota z minus a whole square to ye kiske upar jana chahiye aapka it must be goes to the zero agar ye equality hai so that means this must be goes to the zero fine so yahi se start karte hain i can start from this left hand side will be my f of a provided h approach is zero i can substitute the value it is 1 over 2 pi iota Minus one over two pi iota f z over z minus a. Believe me, the proof is very very simple. Fine, just follow the normal procedure. So I can take on one over two pi iota common integration common f z is common z minus a whole square common. So what is the inside portion is one over z minus a minus h and it is one over z minus a fine so what is the value of this it is 1 over 2 pi iota this is fz divided by z minus a whole square if you take the lcm it is h over z, sorry the common will be only z minus a so it is z minus a minus h z minus a fine so now you can see this is the expression now if you take on the absolute value on the both side fine so you, we all know absolute value of the integration is less than of the integration of the absolute value so what is the absolute value of the 1 over 2 pi iota can you find the absolute value of 
it is 1 over 2 pi absolute value of the iota is 1 so it is 1 over 2 pi integration absolute value of the h absolute value of the fz absolute value of the z minus a minus h absolute value of the z minus and absolute value of the z fine now what will be your target your target is to prove this will be zero fine so how you can prove this number will be zero if you prove that this value will goes to the zero as h approaches zero then you require target fulfill now if you closely look about this case our target is to find the value of the mode of fz our target is to find the value of the mode of z minus a minus h and mode of z minus a fine now if you look about this diagram if i consider the maximum value of the f is my m what does it means that means f of z is less than equal to m fine and z minus a is greater than equal to d and 0 is less than equal to h is less than d that is already given to you fine now my target is to find the value of z minus a minus h fine i can also be written as z minus a minus h what is the value of the a minus b it is greater than of the mod of a minus mod of b so i can say this number is z minus a minus fine what is the z minus a it is greater than d minus h and d minus h you can see it is always positive number fine i can substitute both the values at this point so this number will be 1 over 2 pi h f of z will be less than of the m so it is my less than or equal to mod of h m what is the z minus a minus h it is greater than equal to d minus h and if you take in the reciprocal what is the value of this case it is less than equal to d minus h fine what is the z minus a again it is greater than of the d so i can say this is less than of the d squared fine now what is the value of this case it's a area absolute value it is my constant 2 pi now clearly say if you take as h approaches 0 because of this value this number will goes to the 0 and once the absolute value will goes to the 0 that means this number is 0 and the left hand side is my f of a which is nothing but required proof of this result so because this value existence hence f dash is my analytic and that's a simple proof of this derivative of the analytic functions and once you know the f dash is derivative you can repeat the same process and you can easily prove that f dash is also analytic you can also prove that the triple derivative is also de analytic and so on so i hope you can enjoy this session too we will see the next lecture on the morera theorems and its corresponding examples till then you can share you can like and comment on this video as well don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Best of luck students. Happy learning.